All right, some more stuff happened in the news. Let's check it out. Will she be paid? That being the smug gamer dog of Idol EN, Hochi Wanmaru, Idol having EN. received this redesign back in October and Ooh. later in December, running a 48 hour donathon, saying, Ooh. I have moved to help cover costs. I planned an event with lots of fun stuff for us to do. Adding most of the earnings will help cover the costs of the recent move and furnishing and soundproofing. Hochi Wanmaru at this time, having not stressed streamed for the past two months and her most recent tweet from February 9th reading I'm alive I'm dealing with a lot right now and having meetings I'm not ready to talk about it yet and I may be away for a while longer but I figured I'd drop by and say hello please take care of yourselves and that now bringing us over to her account outside of idol where she goes by the name of Finn Riru and tweeting out let's talk about my time working at not Starbucks that directly referring to the idol vtuber agency saying I may be less active for a bit because this is causing me extreme anxiety and I want to spend time with Mama Fen as she is visiting starting tomorrow. This Google document then reading, not Starbucks, has not provided an extended break notice despite my request to do so a long while ago. This situation has caused me significant worries. I wanted to take a break from accumulated stress from the very start to the present because of several issues that not Starbucks has had. While I recognize some internal issues are being worked on, there has been been limited acknowledgement of responsibility for past incidents. I have experienced difficulties primarily in my interactions with Mr. Man. Some believing that is directly referencing the CEO and founder of Idol Corporation. As further this document reads, I was scheduled to receive my share of the second promo event earnings given to me in support by customers in early February to help and facilitate my move to another country, including various expenses like furniture, soundproofing, better equipment, as a Agreed, and being the sole reason for my second promo event. But I did not receive anything. That second promo event, again referencing that Donathon fundraiser for Pochi Wan Morrow's move back in December. This document continues with, The lack of funds has caused me financial hardship. I have been under the impression that I would be paid. I was told it was sent or being sent at the time. And like the first promo event and all the other promo events, I should have received the funds on my next paycheck. I was then recently told that the funds were frozen due to saying I wouldn't do my tasks, which is false. We were still discussing and in the middle of negotiations, there were mentions of other tasks over which I had no control over. For example, a not Starbucks minigame, not Starbucks stuff mascot, and that was what I was referring to. This concerned me because I stated multiple times I could do my tasks. It seemed illogical as I had learned I would not receive the funds prior to this part of our negotiations. I was told by someone else at not Starbucks that the actual reason was because I had a work leave notice active. Regardless, this shouldn't have changed anything since there was a significant established lapse of time before my leave and I was more than open to negotiate and compromise to do my tasks during that time and extend the work leave notice. Around the start of January, I had issued a work leave notice because of my experiences at not Starbucks. I want to emphasize that issuing the work leave notice was not related to the promo event. I planned to see what was possible what my options were, what we could agree on, finish my tasks of the promo event, and exit with no complications. Keep in mind, we are at the end of March as of this writing, and I could have worked on tasks for the promo event this entire time. There were instances of undue pressure and coercion over the past months, going back and forth, such as punitive terms and documents I was given to sign, and threats. I refused to sign anything for my own mental well-being and to protect my freedom. Other well-meaning individuals joined in the negotiation, near the tail end, but it was still unfruitful, as Mr. Man refused to budge. In the end, I knew refunds might have to be issued despite being a last option because of my financial situation and possibilities of resolving this. I was very recently made aware by customers that upon asking for refunds, messages sent by not Starbucks to customers indicated no refunds would be offered because I was presently working on and on my way to finishing my tasks. False, as we had not yet come to an agreement while simultaneously claiming I would not do my tasks. I hadn't received anything
thing either way. In the end, it is the right thing to do for customers because we were unable to find a way for not Starbucks to let me complete my tasks. I've been feeling very unwell because of the situation and have made this known to not Starbucks. It has affected me mentally and physically where I have needed to see a doctor. Most days I feel very depressed and brain fogged, completely out of it, and I struggle to do anything, including coffee making. I felt lonely and isolated, worsening my anxieties. I am very exhausted. I tried my best. As part of the statement being in bold, I have respectfully asked not Starbucks to respect my privacy and discontinue any further attempts to contact me. Despite holding evidence, I've chosen not to disclose further details out of consideration for the other baristas and... This is literally the donkey bird situation. She said her piece and she said she don't want no more to do with them, period. With this video going out, um, it would be an idol's best interest. She owes idle money. It's substantial. It's probably in their best interest. I don't want to say six. Um, probably be in their best interest to make a public announcement. Talking about their side of the don't pursue any legal issue. Let the court of public opinion. I mean, there's a lot of cases of the public opinion going you know, to the now indie, right? Um, so it would be in it would be them to just say we saw the tweet or we saw the tweet longer. This is our response. This is what happened on our end. This is what we think happened, and then that's it. Don't say sue, don't say, don't say you're gonna pursue her, don't say you're gonna drop it either, right? Just say this is our side of the story and then wait. And then see what public opinion has to say. Right? Don't say sue because then the public opinion will automatically not like you. So you would have to just say, hey, this is what we thought. This is what was supposed to happen. Uh we're sorry if we made you know our our not Starbucks employee, like, like do the same thing. It might be petty, but it is funny, right? Or not Starbucks employee. Um, yeah, we're gonna let them go and uh, yeah, I hope they have a great life. But like basically say, hey, this is what they did wrong in our eyes. But even though you screwed us over, I hope you have a good life. That's literally all you can say. And not Starbucks staff. I believe it's prudent for all parties to move forward and disengage from this matter. Continued engagement yeah. serves. And it's easy for this person to say it, right? Because now the court of public opinion is 100% on their side right now, right? Because people don't like companies already. Um, so this person in bold, I have respectedly asked Idol to respect my privacy and can discontinue further attempts to contact me. Boom. They don't have to contact you no more. Boom. Despite holding evidence, blah, 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 right? So she's saying she, she, if they want to sue, she can sue, right? Don't even engage in this strategy. I've chosen to move on, right? I believe it's prudent for all parties to move forward and disengage from this matter, right? She believes that as, as now an a indie talent, a singular person, you are a company. Your job is to make profits. But if you want to make profits, you're going to have to just say, hey, this person disrespected us. This is, uh, we don't agree with this, 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 but it's okay. Do your thing. And then for everybody else, praise them. Say, hey, everybody else is doing a good job at the company. Blase, blase, blase. And say, hey, we're going to keep moving on with our current talents. We're going to make sure they're treated respectfully. Blah, blah, blase, blase. For the other person, good luck with your life. And then that's it. And then continue talking about any new projects you got coming forward, 
right? So if you have somebody that's going to do a new outfit debut, say, hey, also, by the way, we have a new outfit coming from our other idol talent. Boom, boom, boom. On this day, make sure you support them. Because this video has 51,000 views. So 51,000 people, and maybe even more on Twitter, are going to wait for Idol's response. So it will behoove them and be in their best interest to let this person go, but make them look like the asshole, right? Because this person is making it seem like their life sucked so much at the company that everybody that willingly just believes anybody that says anything happened to them, like the people with bleeding hearts that are just like, yeah, I, you know what? I read this and I'm just going to believe you 100% and not even going to look into it any further. Those are the type of people that are going to be sitting and believing her and just waiting for Idol to try and sue so they have a reason to pick up their pitchforks, their torches, and their armor if they're white knights. Some of them are white knights, not all of them are white knights. Um, so yeah, that, that would be the strategy uh, right there. So I'm interested to see what happens in this game. No purpose and will only perpetuate harm and validate my experiences. Finn then later tweeting out clarifications, clarifying Idol would be taking a 40% cut of those funds. And yes, that the funds were supposed to be sent even before the completion of the task, as has been the case from other donathons that Idol has held. Finn further confirming they had no intentions to quote unquote run away. They are grateful to those who support them. Finn saying further they have not been allowed to post as Pochi. This all occurring in the wake of V and U exactly. and their talent. Exactly. We have currently, right, we have Niji Sandi, then we have the V and U that's currently going on. Um, v and U are the perfect examples on how not to respond because the public opinion is against them. Even though I personally think V and U may have a case, whether it's legitimate, necessary, or moral is whatever. Do they have a case? Yes. Uh, does old girl have a case too? Yes. But B and U has a bigger bullet right now because they are already a company. You guys got to remember, whenever y'all leave the company, yeah, the court of public opinion is on your side, but the legal court is not the same as public opinion, right? But I believe both courts are important. You need public opinion and you need legal. If the public opinion supports you and the legal doesn't, congratulations. Uh, you now owe money to somebody else and now you got to crowdfund everybody that believed in you. I mean, it is what it is. If those people want to donate, sure. If you win the legal but lose the court of public opinion, congratulations. You know, your brand is good. And maybe you got some money, which is good. But now everybody hates you, at least for the time being. And if anybody that really hates you sticks around long enough, whenever you do something good, later on in the future, there's going to be that one, two, three, four, five people that say, hey, what about uh, that one time? Right, even though it was a long time ago, they're gonna bring it up, and more people are, that are new, they're gonna be like, "Wait, what happened?" And then they're gonna go look it up, and then they're gonna go find my video. <laughs> Your boy Kunshan. Anyways, yeah, that would be in Idol's best interest. Though. You and their talent, Amano Serofi, as she is claiming that she has also not been paid for her Donathon funds, saying that she had requested to be graduated from VNU as far back as February 28th. Right VNU she later confirming that request, okay. but still on March 4th, sending out a happy one year anniversary to her and her gen mate. Ben Riru further tweeting out, I may stream something fun on Twitch to catch up and situate myself. So with where they privately graduated, old girl. Um, but publicly, they wanted to make it seem like she was still going so they could make some more money off her name. Now, I have to ask, is that legal? Right? Because graduation, does that mean in a contract? Because from what I still see in the VTuber community, graduation is something that's still more spiritual than legal. Right? You guys got to remember, paperwork is king in this world of reality. Paperwork is king. There's a reason why we invented it. Um, We'll see what happens in the future. Where I left off. Not sure when, could be in a few days or sooner. We'll update on that. That'll wall hours before that statement from Pochi One Maru, the CEO and founder of Idol Corporation. I tweeted out, we believe VTuber agencies should offer more to their talents. This is why we have transformed the way we reinvest in Idol. In this blog post saying, Genius. today we will explore our Genius. new expense cover system Genius. we introduced this year to talents. Absolutely. This new approach helps Genius. talents focus on content instead of worrying about expenses and promotes more group projects. 
projects and creative thinking. Laying out company credit cards. Stating all our towns are issued company official credit company credit cards. cards. Okay, um, I'm going to say immediately this is a red flag. Why the fuck do you have a company credit card? You guys know what a credit card is? Credit card... A credit card is something you get when you don't have the funds immediately available, but credit is something that proves, hey, this person is trustworthy enough to let borrow our money from our credit union or bank, okay? Because I know a lot of people don't know what credit cards are for and people think credit cards are a scam. Credit cards are definitely a scam if you have bad spending and it's definitely something that messes with the human brain it's like i can't afford this now but i can put it on my credit card and i know i get paid next week so i could just pay them back right remember with credit you got to pay interest so whatever your interest rate is on your credit card it depends on your credit score if your credit score is low you don't get anything if your credit score is high they'll probably let you rent a jet out and then they promise they they think you'll pay if you have a great credit score they know you're going to pay them back by the end of the year or some shit it's definitely something that was created for middle America at the time to flourish. But since middle America has been fucked for the last, since the housing crisis, maybe even before then, um, credit cards are definitely, I wouldn't say a scam, uh, but they definitely can fuck you over. It's, I believe credit cards are on the same level as gambling. Like, yeah, there's some people that go to Vegas and they come back with, hundreds of thousands and there's people that go to Vegas and they lose their house. So is it a scam? Maybe, but it's something that you willingly jump into or you have to jump into because let's keep it real. Credit cards are actually really useful. If you can't afford, if you normally have a steady paycheck and you never really used your credit card and every time you did, it was on something small, like some water, right? This water costs equivalent of $1, right? I put it on my credit card. Next month, I pay the $1.20 because interest, right? Who cares? And you keep doing this, your credit slowly goes up. Eventually, something like COVID-19 happens where you're fucked, right? And then you start using your credit card more. But if you already had a good credit score, they will probably let you use up to like $1,000 worth of stuff versus if you had a low credit score because you always used it and never paid them back. So say you got a credit card and you said, Instead of buying this $1 bottle, water bottle, let me buy this $200 microphone, put it on my credit card and then pay it back in two months. Sure, you may build the credit back if you actually do pay this off, but not if you pay it off in payments. If you pay it off more than their payments, so like this is $200 and they say, you're going to have to pay us uh, every month. You're going to have to pay us $20 till you pay this back. Instead of spending only $20, spend $30 and you pay it back sooner. That's how you boost your credit. Don't pay it back immediately, because if you pay it back immediately, it's not going to boost your credit. Um, but yeah, a company credit card is definitely not the way to go, because everything I just said, imagine you work for a company, and now they have the credit card. So you work for Amazon. Again, this bottle of water is $1. Well, you work for Amazon. It's the Amazon water. They give you the credit card. You might as well buy like 30 of these. Why not? It's the Amazon credit card. Ooh. But now you owe Amazon not $30 for the water bottles. You owe them mm, 30 water bottles. You probably owe them around 45, 50 bucks, right? So now you owe them and you work for them. So now that you have a credit card, if you don't have any, if you have some debt on your balance, you know, now that you work for them and you use their credit card, instead of paying you your money that you earn for working for them, they could just say, yeah, but, you know, your credit card, you still owe some money. So we're going to go ahead and take some of your paycheck and put it towards that debt that you owe us. Now, it doesn't sound that bad when you got 30 water bottles. Sure. But what happens when the next greatest microphone comes out and instead of $200, it's $400, right? And this is a V2 company, right? It's a V2 corporation. So what are they selling? Assets, microphones soundproofing, maybe even moving expenses in this credit card, right? Too bad the interest rate is high as shit and you don't realize it because one, you guys don't even look at your fucking V2 contracts, let alone the credit card contract that you're going to sign over. They're going to they're gonna, they're gonna promise you everything and then as soon as you sign the contract, 
your ass is theirs. Like you already owe them. If you work at Idol, they already own you. Now you're going to put yourself in debt with them financially through a credit card system that they created. Okay, good luck. We'll see what happens. Assigned to them to be used easily and efficiently when purchasing things like video games, equipment, and other things they might. Might need for streaming. This helps talents make quick purchases without having to talk to their managers, making the whole process more efficient and quick. And here we have quarterly budget in order to It does make it efficient and quick, doesn't it? Think about that debt. Owe them. And now you owe them even more. If you ever want to get out your contract, guess what? You still need to pay off that credit card debt. You know why? Because that credit card debt will follow you the rest of your fucking life. The rest of your life. It doesn't matter if you move somewhere else. That credit card debt's going to be there if you ever want to go back. So if Idol is in your home country and you sign up for Idol, you get a credit card from them, and you want to leave Idol, better be careful what y'all doing out here. Life is, life is slippery. To make Life things fairer, bro. promote reinvestment in smaller tax. And for all that free information, y'all better hit the like button, bro. Y'all be giving me 100 views in an hour, but y'all don't hit the like button. Why not? It's free. Just hit it. Just hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Just hit it. Why not? Talents and encourage large-scale projects by talent. It's We've free. introduced a quarterly budget for talents. Quarterly budgets are calculated every quarter based on the last quarter's performance. Damn. The budget is $1,500 or... Damn, that's fucking crazy. You get a budget too. So your budget's $1,500. But if you didn't, you know, get that many subs this month, your budget will go down. That's interesting. In a bad way. 20% of the quarter's revenue, whichever is higher. It's guarantees even smaller talents get a significant budget to undertake large scale projects while still idea. reinvesting a significant portion of earnings back, into, back into the talents. The There's also a generation back budget. Into Moving into 2024, we'll be putting a lot more focus on group projects and teamwork. The generation budget is given each. So a group debt. So if there's five of you in a group and you pay back your part of the debt because it was a group project, but one of the members didn't pay back their debt. That debt is not with you until somebody pays that shit off. So who's gonna pay it off? The person that hasn't paid it off or the other four members in the group gonna pitch in and pay off their fifth member's debt? Y'all figure it out, y'all let me know. It's a great Quarter episode, is I love this. This is $1,500 multiplied by the number of talents in a generation. This budget is given on top of the normal quarterly budget for individual projects and each generation decides how to use this budget each quarter. And now very timely, we have the Donathon coverage segment saying Donathons have been a great opportunity for talents to raise money for large scale projects. We decided to integrate that as part of our expense coverage by covering all project expenses for the different goals so that talents can take home the earnings they made from the Donathon without having having to worry about paying for all the goals they promised to do. Let's go ahead and- So let's keep it 100. Like I said, credit cards, not really scams. They're more of gambles. So if you do sign up for this credit card, but you're the next Gargura, congratulations, bro. You're going to be soaring through the sky. Now, if you get this credit card and you're uh, fucking the only one I can name of, and I'm not saying this to be very disrespectful, but you could end up in a Mike Neko situation where you just lose everything and you get fired. And guess what? You would be in debt. So like, yeah, Mika, Mike Neko, she has a fan base and everything right that and everything like that to support her, right? She's lucky. What if you're not that lucky, right? And even Mike, Mike Neko is not doing that good, right? I hope she gets better, but she ain't doing too well. And she doesn't have any credit card debt. Imagine being in her shoes plus credit card debt. Couldn't be me. Reread that. We Couldn't decided to integrate Donathons as part of our expense coverage by covering all project expenses for the different goals so that talents can take home the earnings they made from the Donathon without having to worry about paying for all the goals they promised to do. As a result, we don't profit at all from Donathons because the goals reflect the cost of projects based on the amount raised. Ben Riru earlier sharing screenshots. So. It's not about making profits, they say, but a company, that's how you survive all profits, right? 
Hmm. We'll see what happens if somebody has some uh, credit card debt. We'll of what, Discord what conversations with Idol. Idol initially we'll saying, see. yes, the payment should have been sent, we'll but further stating we'll that see. any amount over $10,000 could take longer to process. This conversation being over a month and a half ago, and allegedly still no funds. So delayed payments, right? So you made 10 k you getting delayed payments, right? Because you're going through this credit card system. But if you owe them money, they want that shit in 30 days. Or else, there goes your credit score. Does that sound fair? Issued to this talent. Lastly, as part of this blog post, we have the other budget section saying as part of a secret project, talents are also issued an additional budget that is more significant than the budgets listed before. The CEO and founder saying, I hope to revisit this post in the future to provide more context on that once the project is announced. This all occurring as Idol has been very busy. Earlier Terrible. sending out this fake important announcement, that announcement being for the long awaited re debuts oh, of the remaining is. Idol origin there members now being properly made oh, as a yeah. part of Idol Genius EN strategy. and titled Genius. Genesis. Absolutely Idol for those Genius debuts strategy. saying clip Genesis debut and this earn $5 for this every 1,000 views. This is good. Oh my God, Idol. Bro, their marketing is absolutely genius, man. These people, if they could get, if they can go ahead and give old girl uh, her money or whatever, bro, Idol low key might be up next. $5 for every 1,000 views for clips. Bro, that they're in, they're incentivizing clippers to clip them more, which you guys should do and go ahead and send your clips over to Daily Clips for your boy Kun Shot because I'll check them out. I have no biases. I have no horse in this race. Send me the clips. I'll check them out. If they funny, great. If they're not, I'll let you know. Their Clippers Partner Program. Those Genesis members a being kind of Seen uh -oh. here with her new look and saying, Okay, I would say be careful with the Partner Program because you're basically signing up to only clip items. <laughs> so if you want to clip anybody else, uh, good luck, Chuck. Be careful. Be careful. Now, if it was just, hey, clip an idol member and use the hashtag and then send us an email, boom. That's one thing. Sign up for our program and clip them, and then we'll send the money. Whole nother thing. Hey, thank you for coming to my debut stream. Alongside, my red flags are big, but my boobs are bigger. Oh, while well, also as a part of Genesis, we have Nikki Ray releasing a Daft Punk debut cover and seen here in her Daft new Punk. form. Her character illustrator saying congrats like on your re-debut, Nikki. Further with Idol EN, we have Kai Psychota announcing she'll be taking a short break. That lasting from March 26th to the 31st, saying I will still be around, but we'll be taking this time to refocus on awesome projects I've been working on behind the scenes. Idol has some very awesome and exciting things coming up, so I want to take a break while I can. And also with Idol EN, we have Fuyo Cloverfield, recently celebrating her birthday go and live. also releasing brand new merch right available now. until March right 30th. Alongside posting up a picture we don't know if we can show, but Fuyo saying, I am so overwhelmed by all the love today. Time and time again, Lucky Charms, you give me all the support, company, and more than I could ever ask for. That as Tobin Jacobs has been very busy. Showing off here, I made all of Idol's talents into life-size cutouts. Idol Ian's Momo of Taco now returned and saying, why is Juna towering over everyone? Kai is literally so short. And as promised, Tobin Jacobs would also make this 20-foot cutout of V4 Mariah's Maria while further surprising everybody with these cutouts. That being every active and member of Phase Connect. <laughs> as now today, we return to That's Phase fun. Connect's Pipkin Pippa, confirmed Let's to go. not be smarter than a fifth grader. Cola giving us this shirt design. I feel like this show was always some BS, bro. Ain't no way fifth graders. Are, these gotta be honors kids, bro. If y'all were in honors, let me know in the comments below. I never did it because I didn't want to do hard shit. Firm to not be smarter than a fifth grader. Cola giving us this shirt design and further updating us with Pippa plushy sample paid for and in production. Pippa this month Can't celebrating her birthday and releasing birthday, merchandise baby. like fans, t-shirts, scarves, and high knee socks. Yeah. As on the face can Next shop, it would say that the knee high sock size are a universal men's fit. Not oh. Theo providing us with this result. Pippa on her birthday giving away a gift wallpaper saying it's my birthday, but here's a gift for you. While also wishing Pippa a happy birthday was Hall Live Japan's well, Cinemaki Watame. Happy birthday, dear Pippa. Happy birthday, 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 Pippa
As later novel AI would post, join our favorite rabbit, Hipkin Peppa, on stream Saturday, March 16th, for a special collaboration with Novel AI featuring Novel AI Diffusion version 3. This collaboration, very expectedly, leading to Peppa's 29th cancellation by Twitter. Peppa in turn responding with, Please have fun with AI and elevate your ideas by commissioning real art. If you're looking to be a VTuber, my top recommendations are VGen for models, commercial use art, etc., Skeb for for fun art and Nizima for pre-made models, assets, etc. As next, we have Lewid announcing official Face Connect cross Lewid collaboration. That entitled Mega Idol Pipkin Pippa. Face Connect's founder Sakana saying Mega Idol Pippa hoodie coming soon. Word. Lewid responding, Sakana, I haven't revealed it was a hoodie yet. Damn. And for along, we have Project Kavai. This agency Please. group being made up of two VTubers, that being Irie Guinevere and Mikazuki Mai. These two having debuted back in April of 2022 as late last month Irie would have an announcement as Project Kavai would have their own graduation announcement after. Confirming that their remaining two VTubers on March 31st will be graduating. Saying after my and Gwen's graduation Project Kavai will continue to release new episodes of Loon Tide Bewitched until the end of the season. On April 1st 2024 both my and Gwen will cease all streaming activities and their YouTube channel memberships and Streamlabs pages will be closed. Selected content of their YouTube channels as well as their social accounts will remain public for the continued enjoyment of their fans. I read Gwynevere saying, Gwynny is going to miss all the friends I made on my journey. Thank you. As my here on Twitter had a longer farewell, highlighting I love you, thank you, and respect each other. Well, next we have the European-based VTuber agency Globy. Turning now to their slightly insane Swedish polar bear VTuber, Ibuki Bjorn. Globy going on to send out this official statement saying it is with great regret that we are announcing a temporary hiatus for Ibuki stream Bjorn from streaming weekends. activities starting today. Low. This decision was made jointly with Bjorn and the management team in order to be mindful of Bjorn's health and is well-being. This better for Bjorn you? stating, I'm sorry to say I have to go on a hiatus. The reality is that I'm not okay and I have to focus on recovering more than anything. Thank you for your understanding. Lots of love and chomps. Well, Metal Wall Globy Bjorn. would also announce, please give your warmest welcome to the first four members of Globy Gen 2. Welcome to hashtag Equinox and providing one Ah. two, three, and four silhouettes I alongside see their respective accounts. All these members still nearly three weeks Holy later Yama. in silhouette. As on top of that, Globy would also say, please give out. your warmest welcome them. to the final four members of Globy Gen 2. Globy. Welcome to Celestia. Once again, offering up one, two, three, Globy and four social. silhouettes with all eight of these members active on Twitter, but still in silhouette at this time. That as we await the dates for their debuts, turning us now over to Globy's Pippa Pebbles worth recently holding a clipping competition work. offering up roughly 100 us dollars for the top prize alongside this artwork and saying thank you so much for three months together here's a gift for you pipsters to commemorate the wonderful time we have had together so far here's to many 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 months more and further along we have prism project who were also all made into life-size cutouts by tobin jacobs prism enough. project once again set to cease all operations on wow. march 31st as Aren't then you? the majority of their actual members will go on to become indie VTubers that perhaps unfortunately not including Naki Hamazuki going on to announce her graduation from VTuber activities while the main announcements were made saying I really treasured Prism and everyone so much along with I spent the rest of my time yesterday talking with some friends and they made me cry again everything is so bittersweet I'm really glad I'm surrounded by so many kind people of course you're included and as promised before the shutdown here we have the new outfit debuts for Gen 3 including this beach wear by way of Shiki Miyashino saying I'm a master at doggy paddle. Further, we have Pina Penguin remarking, let's go out and hang out. We also have Nia Susan coming wait, even wait. more cat. Wait, I'm confused. Are we going to the beach? She's going to the beach. Where is she going? Let's go out the library. and hang out. We also have Nia Suzune becoming even more cat-like. As lastly, as a part of Gen 3, we have Yura Vikado remarking, when I first joined Prison Project, they asked me what kind of appearance I would like. I said I didn't mind anything as long as I am purple. Yura being a blue VTuber for years on end and now saying three years later, Bro, I might finally. As yes, now that's Yura crazy. is batting for Team Purple. Let's offering go. up purple this key visual purple and gang. further stating, thank you for coming 
coming into my life. Hashtag happy Borf Day Shiki 2024. Shiki Miyashino celebrating her birthday with a mouse pad, keychain, and voice pack. <laughs> Orders for those goods closing on March 28th, with Shiki now properly posting up her very own key visual. As visualizing next is Zeus of Mythos. Earlier celebrating her <sighs> Twitch partnership with I Cry So Much, we got partner, we got the PC funded, I just want to cry all That's night. Thank you, everyone. I want to keep crying. That is Hades of Mythos, alongside Poseidon of Mythos, have also celebrated their Twitch partnerships. Zeus going on to release her very first Perfect, voice pack, no, now mine. available on gumroad.com. But mine. further, you asked for it, you demanded it, well, here you go, Bacchus. The Zeus body pillow is now live on cuddlyoctopus.com. And now we have Videre's Elia Stellaria. Having this month celebrated her birthday, taking time to release yet another cover song, while also racking up over 80,000 US dollars for her birthday donathon. Damn. Saying thank you so much for the most incredible, Damn. unbelievable 24 hours hours of my life. Thank you for believing in me. Thank you for yeah, supporting me. Thank you for being kind to me. Thank They're you so, so much. I promise I will keep doing my bestest, bestest, bestest for you. As also further with Vidari, we have Irie, this little devil VTuber being a part of Vidari's second song cover, Gods, hitting 20,000 YouTube subscribers, and further sharing, my ASMR videos are being hit with BS copyright claims again. Once mm. again, just random people claiming free to use rain sounds. Mm. It's different companies each time, too claiming I'm using their content. Mm. Lesson learned, never using any kind Bro, make your own rain sounds at this point. I'm gonna do the same thing. My shit got copyrighted. And rain sounds again. And I'm now we have V4 Mirai. Now welcoming in their brand new talent manager, V Sensei, complete with her very own reference sheet here. As V4 Mirai would also present their all member cover song before going on to announce their upcoming third generation. V4 Mirai saying, keep your eyes open. Some new faces will be roaming the halls of Mirai Magical School very soon, giving us the date of April 6th. V4 Mirai also would with brand new birthday merchandise. Saying happy birthday to V4 Mirai's resident ninja, Yayugiri. Enjoy fun items like keychains, tapestries, and death mats, or purchase the whole set for a special bonus gift. All while V4 Mirai's Abi Kadabura gifted us with, why does the guy from anime McDonald's look like false ID got a day job? Saying next, I tag both of them so you can help me figure out which one's which. Okay, uh, let's just go ahead and move <laughs> on. What the hell? <laughs> to Aeon Project. Hey, in with the frog and toxic troublemaker Zume Dekami having received this frog legs English artwork the fuck 7, you speak subscribers it? on YouTube stating Congrats. we are going to make the biggest frog cult ever Zume recently celebrating her birthday with her own donathon after saying I've never felt more loved and appreciated by so many wonderful people I am unbelievably lucky to have you all Zumi launching her own merch Zoomy like a sticker set zoomer. keychain and standee and also fulfilling a prior donathon reward you like it when I give you the truth yeah. What I'm saying is you love the truth. You need yeah, a... Let me hear it. I'm going to give you all the truth. Yeah. Truth? <laughs> Wait, what? Choose? Oh, no. Nah. I'll say I didn't do nothing for you. <laughs> Merry Christmas. And now with well, Pixel damn. Link, we are back with Nebby Nebu. Not this bad, galactic man. alien returning to streaming after a much needed mental health break and releasing her very own song cover of All Star saying thank you all so much for the warm welcome back messages. It wouldn't have been a proper Nebby Nebu comeback She's stream if she or what? didn't give something Some back. As York. lastly, we're back with Astraline's Lucius Merriweather earlier today hosting a 40 person Fall Guys Grand VTuber tournament. Merriweather also promising a 3D debut coming up on Saturday, March 30th saying our most ambitious debut yet please look forward to it as that is all for this episode as always feel free to like comment and subscribe below send in your vtuber news to our discord as we'll have more things vtubers say for you soon great great episode i talked about how idle might put people in debt and uh we got some dubs happy birthday pippa i'll see you guys on the next one bye bow, 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 bow.